Hey guys, welcome to Manifesting Better. I'm back with another video and another topic that needs to be addressed. I also have an Instagram account. The link for that is in the description box below. Coaching is also available. The link for that too is in the description box below. Hey guys, hope you all are well. So in this video, I will talk about social media while manifesting a specific person. Now, I have not, never seen this topic being covered. And in this video, I will be talk, talking about everything in regards to do with social media. Because I think we need to take into account that social media is actually a very, very, very important thing in the current world. And while manifesting, this comes into play. And when I was like, when I listened to lectures and everything, this is one aspect that Neville Goddard never covered or Joseph Murphy never covered or Abraham Hicks never covered because they haven't actually seen this era properly. And it's something that I would like to talk about. And this is one of the biggest hindrances that I have seen that comes up with my clients. And uh, it comes up with my clients because I have seen that people when they are manifesting a specific person, their major mode of communication is social media. So people are not actually meeting a lot. It's more social media and especially social media when they are not much in contact. So if you're in a no contact situation, what to do? If you're in a contact situation, what to do? What to do if you're just friends? What to do if you're not friends? What to do if they're dating someone else? Like, should I hide their stories? Should I mute their stories? In this video, all of it would be covered. Now, please be very smart while you take in advice from this video because it's a very situation based thing, right? Eventually learning on how to handle social media in regards to your particular situation is a very situation based thing. The reason it is important for me to mention this is because I don't want you to take a general advice that I'm giving you in this video very specifically. So I know that you're very smart and I will try to make it very, very, very clear in which category you fall in and what to do and what not to do. But if you feel that you need very specific advice about it, then you will need to reach out for a coaching session and we can uh, talk about it there. So why is social media important? Because social media, like everything that we do, is an extension of ourselves. So in any situation that you will ever go forward, I talk about this in all my videos that manifestation is not just about changing your mindset. Manifestation is about after you change your mindset, you change your perceptions. After you change your perceptions, you change your actions. After you change your actions, you change your boundaries. And it's a combination of that that eventually results in the embodiment of what you want. But social media forms into the action part because social media is also a part of an and an extension of who you are so it's important to understand that social media plays a very big role in this situation because it represents who you are in this current moment and what you can do to make sure that you're not mentally chasing mentally running after something and doing all these things in a very destructive manner for yourself so what are the things that you shouldn't be doing in social media and what are some specific situations so first i would like to talk about the big no's so these are the big no's that are a big no for everyone anyone who is manifesting a specific person these are things that if you do you are actually putting yourself in a very weird situation and even if you are in a healthy relationship these are things that i would still want you to avoid because it eventually doesn't do anything good it puts you as someone who is a very low value person in their own eyes because they are spending their time doing all these things so if you have been doing it no point in judging yourself just make sure that you understand that these habits are a big no so it's just like if someone says that my lungs need working better and i'm taking supplements the doctor will tell them hey first stop smoking so that is the biggest effect that will get on your life like you don't you want to be in a position where you don't sabotage your life and sabotage these things in the first place and then you can focus on improving it first thing is stalking stalking is a big no why is stalking a big no because one there is nothing good that you can find from it you can stalk so you either see something where they are happy and it won't make you feel good you will feel left out or you see something where they are sad now you can provide it negative meanings which is not helpful or you can see nothing at all which is again going to make you overanalyze or they post a story with someone maybe a friend or someone else you are just going to overanalyze that or they post something or they remove your photos that were there and it's just not going to be a good situation so stalking in any way shape or form is not helpful another reason why stalking is not helpful is when you're trying to look for something you will usually find it so if you're trying to look for them doing something wrong and you're constantly on edge of it for it you will consistently keep looking and you will find something where you don't want to find something which is something that i would want you to avoid right 
also stalking represents and is a representation of a belief system and a self concept of someone who doesn't value their time who doesn't believe that they have uh, enough things to do someone who doesn't value their attention because where your attention goes energy flows so when you're focusing your attention on something so minimal as stalking someone's account you're wasting your time second texting their friends this is again a very big no because on social media you have access to their friends you can maybe if you're following that person you can check their followers you can see if they're following someone and you can text that person to get information on them now i know this might sound bizarre to some of you but a lot of people here who are listening to this video might be doing this action and if you are nothing essentially like please don't put yourself down it's very important to understand that these actions are not recommended and are actually a short short way of not getting what you want it's it's utter manipulation of trying to make something happen through your actions this way it's never going to result into anything good even if you get some movement off it it would be one temporary second it would be something that would be on the basis of you chasing and you trying to make it happen which won't help you and which won't work so please don't do that the third one which is a big no is talking their followers if they have had any followers if their followers increased who did they follow keeping a log of it it's never going to be helpful just understand if you truly had a good self concept you wouldn't spend your time stalking someone's followers if they have any if they have grown things like that that would be beneath you and it is beneath you please make sure that you don't do any actions that you are later going to judge yourself or put yourself in shame for that's not the correct way to move forward and that is not certainly something that you need in your life right now now coming to the second set of things now these are things where it's slightly back and forth and which would depend on the situation right so first sending and receiving reels now if you are someone who's in contact with your person and if you are someone who's in regular contact with your person and they keep sending you reels and you keep sending them reels and they sometimes open them and they sometimes don't and you sometimes open them and you sometimes don't don't try to make a conversation happen on social media because of it so it's very important to make sure that uh, you are not trying to make a conversation happen through it it's not going to be helpful right next thing checking to see if they have liked your pictures or which pictures that they have liked this still comes into the uh, similar part as before the first point that i was explaining it's not worth your time to see if they have done that and to check their last scene and this can be on instagram or on whatsapp like to keep checking when were they last online have they seen my message have they not seen my message it has it has been one hour since this uh, saw my message it has been two hours not helpful not worth your time please make sure you are not putting yourself in self demeaning issues and you are not putting yourself in a place where you are hurting yourself through your actions this way right and the next thing posting to gain their attention now again a very big no and i let me tell you how people usually do it so usually uh, how people go for it is that they try to post stories and then they check if their sp has seen their stories it's not helpful one it has the undertone of manipulation which means the real reason that you're doing it is because one you feel that i have to do it two you don't value your time so you're wasting it trying to gain someone view on your story which you feel will make some reaction happen in them or make some feeling happen in them which through which they would reach out that won't that is not how it would work even if they reach out it would be on a reactionary way where you try to make it happen through your own manipulative actions it won't work out and when i'm saying manipulation here i don't mean it in a negative tone i mean it in a self defeating tone that if you are manifesting you shouldn't be trying to make things happen it should be beneath you right so uh, posting to see if they have seen your stories or not checking views if there are any views like if they are seeing your stories if they are not if they are following uh, you or not again not helpful another one it's to make sure that you are not putting yourself in a position where you are consistently trying to see which posts they have liked so it's that oh he liked that person's post he commented on jessica's video why did he do that not helpful right then comes to the next point this is where it's a very like a gray you need to find your own gray area so this is uh, if to see their stories or not 
So first thing is if that if you are in a very triggered place where you are not being able to deal with anything, you're consistently reacting, maybe this, they just got with a third party or maybe they are just on a vacation and you're just very triggered seeing them their stories and they are making you unhappy. For a while, you can mute their stories. So don't block them as of now, but mute their stories. Don't block them. That's not the correct way. Just because you're triggered. Muting their stories in that moment is going to help because you're not consistently going to be triggered. Now, after you have dealt with the initial trigger where you are super triggered and you are slightly getting back to your normal, then I would recommend actually seeing those stories when they come up. Treat them like a normal person because eventually we want to surpass these triggers, not give in to them. So if they are posting like a normal person, see their stories like a normal person. Deal with it that way. Don't try to make a big deal out of their stories. Eventually it will come to a level where it would be something normal for you, right? Also, one big thing for WhatsApp people, don't text and then delete the text and no, don't send messages on Instagram and unsend those messages. Everyone knows that you did it. You can see the icon on the notification bar. It's just a tactic to gain some attention. I think that you are above that. I think that you are more important than that. And I think that you are very, very strong to put yourself in that position again. Now, how to work on it? Uh, first, with the actions, it's just awareness. So eventually social media comes down to awareness. I hope this video got you awareness. After you have gotten awareness, now you can make sure that you are not indulging in these actions through your willpower at first and then making a habit of it as you go ahead. And eventually you get into that place, you will not be doing these actions because I have thousands and thousands of clients, literally thousands and thousands of clients. And one girl who I was recently talking to, I'm 100% sure she's watching this video right now because I mentioned that it's coming out on Sunday. Actually, she's the reason that I had to make this video today because she was doing this. And after that, she came to me and she's like, I hated myself for doing it because it was beneath me. I did not feel good at all while doing it because I knew that I'm worth more. And that is what you have to stick to. Right. So I hope this video helps. And in uh, the next video, I'm going to be discussing more about some big no's in terms of manifestation, some things that you should never do while manifesting or trying to make things happen for yourself. So I will see you in the next video. Please have a good day. Click the like button if you like the video. Subscribe and turn the notifications on for more such content. Comment down your video suggestions and I will see you guys in the next one.